Your curiosity will lead you to what you're meant to learn. If you feel pulled or intuitively called to learn something, go do it. Learn from it. If there's a word that strikes you, it's me, Helena. Welcome back to my channel where I talk all things astrology, spirituality, and manifestation. Everyone has different tools or modalities that they're more interested or curious about. Some people in the spiritual community really love working with Reiki or pendulums, crystals, past life regression, light language channeling. Like there's so many different tools that we can use and put in our toolbox. And today I want to share with you one of my personal favorite tools and it's a more magical tool. It's a tool that's a little bit more out there and it is the Akashic Records. I'm so excited to talk about this. Um, the Akashic Records has been part of my own personal journey since beginning of 2018. It's something that I use quite frequently um, and really when I need some healing or some information or awareness on something that's going on in my life or I just want to connect with my soul on a deeper level, I access the records. So you may be wondering, what are the Akashic Records? The Akashic Records is kind of like a universal energy log that contains all past, present, and future thoughts, words, feelings, experiences, events, anything that has happened to a specific soul in all times, in all areas of life, can be recorded in these records. And these memories, this information, is encoded in a non-physical form of reality. It sounds crazy, I know. And when I first heard about it, I was like, whoa, that's nuts. But I'm telling you, it's truly one of the coolest places to visit and to enter. And I wanna talk about my own journey with the Akashic Records, how I got started, what I've learned, and also just some tips and practical information for you so that you can get started on your own journey with the Akashic Records. Akashic Records are a very unique modality. It was discovered in the 1800s, but it wasn't until Linda Howe wrote her book, How to Read the Akashic Records, I believe it was like early 2000s, that it became more modernized and more mainstream. Dream. Um, today, more and more people are learning about the Akashic Records, which is so exciting because every single person has access to their own records. When you open the Akashic Records, you're basically going into a person's soul history. And so it goes without saying that you can't open the Akashic Records for anyone. You have to ask them for permission before you can have access to that more private and personal information. But most people do it for themselves. You can use the Akashic Records for business, for channeling creativity. I use it to channel scripts and video ideas. I use it to channel my book. I, I use it to learn information about the future or the present or lessons that I'm currently working on. You can even open up the Akashic Records for a space or a location or a home. Let's say you wanna buy a new house. You wanna learn about the energy that's in that home that came before you. You can absolutely open up the Akashic Records for any given location location, um, non-human entities, anything. It's kind of wild for your pets. Um, yeah, you can, you can, you can open the Akashic records for your pets. It's quite, it's quite nuts. I've done it. It's, it's interesting. It's beyond time and space. So often we think that time is linear, but Actually, multiple things are happening in a timeline at any given moment, and in the Akashic Records, you have access to all of the timelines, all of the dimensions, all of, all of everything. So you may be wondering, how do I access the records? What do I, what do I do? How, do? how do I get started? Well, there's no thinking. There's no thinking in the records. It's more of a feeling. It's more like an energy. Often I get buzzing fingertips when I'm in the records. It often feels kind of like a lightning bolt that goes and it kind of goes through your body and you feel this energy force. It's quite amazing. Um, I receive visuals, but I also can receive colors or thoughts or random feelings in my stomach, like gut feelings or strong senses towards something. Um, but what's really cool is that anyone can learn to read the records. You know, you don't have to buy a program or a course or a class or even read the book, How to Read the Akashic Records by Linda Howe. You can simply say the pathway prayer out loud and that 
opens you up to receive the information that's in the Akashic Records. You don't have to be psychic. You don't have to be clairvoyant or claircognizant. Um, you don't have to have any special gifts. It's simply saying the prayer out loud and then connecting with your energy and trusting the messages that you receive when you're in the records. I've created a blog post with some tips for how to access the Akashic Records down below. I'll include a link with the Pathway Prayer, um, so be sure to check that out. All right, so now I want to chat a little bit about my own journey with the Akashic Records and my own experiences and what you may experience too when you're in the records. So in April 2018, I had a friend randomly tell me out of the blue, hey, have you heard of the Akashic Records? And I was literally like, boom, what's that? What is that? <laughs> I was so curious and so intuitively pulled to the word. Like the word Akashic struck a chord within me. I started reading them very quickly a few months later. I read the book, How to Read the Akashic Records by Linda Howe. Um, a few months later in June of 2018, I found a woman named Ashley Wood, who is kind of the leading person right now in the spiritual community that's modernizing the Akashic Records. So if you ever wanna really like go deep on learning about the Akashic Records, I will include a link down below to her program. So in June, 2018, I got a reading with Ashley when she was first starting her Akashic Records business got insane information from that, like things that I knew, but had never told anyone else about. And she picked up things from my past lives that I had also connected with. And it was, it was unreal. It was unreal. I had so much clarity. It was amazing. Um, I walked away with total clarity of my soul's journey here on earth. And it was after that reading that I was like, okay, this is legit. <laughs> this is, this is real. This is not, this is not some airy fairy woo woo kind of shit. Like this is real. This is a real tool, a real practice that um, a lot of information can come out of it from just reading your own records or reading someone else's records. And that's why it's really important to mention that what you are naturally curious about, the things that are naturally calling you, like if there's a word or a tool or a practice that just feels like, I'm curious about that. I want to learn about that. That's a sign. That is a sign to keep going and to keep following those little breadcrumbs. Because when my friend first told me about the Akashic Records, it was like, I have to know what this is. I have to know what this is about. I have to read my own records. And I just jumped right into it. I took the leap and I just went full force into it. Your curiosity will lead you to what you're meant to learn. If you feel pulled or intuitively called to learn something, go do it, learn from it. If there's a word that strikes you to your core, research it. Um, so after that reading, I really started going like into my records every week, sometimes every day, depending on how I was feeling. And I just got so much information from it, so much personal information from past lives, future lives, my future in this life, my present in this life, lessons and things, actions that I need to take in this life. And sometimes I even receive memories or experiences from my past lives that currently Currently are connected with this life um, and that's something that's very important to point out is that a lot of people in the spiritual community are really focused on past life regression or learning about past lives but it's really important to note that the Akashic Records will only show you the past lives that are pertinent for this life the past lives that are only directly correlated or will help you in the current present moment um, being in the present moment and being in the here and now, being in the human body um, and connecting with, with, with our time on earth now is far more important than going back into the past and trying to learn about what past les lessons or time periods you went through in your past lives. Um, and that's what's so great about the Akashic Records is it's really focused on the here and now and what information can help you today.
Uh, I actually got the message to start speaking online when I was in the Akashic Records, right before I started Simple Joys in the Akashic Records, I got the message that I needed to speak and I needed to get better at speaking and start the Simple Joys channel about specifically slow living. Um, I got many messages that it was time to start a spiritual channel and to start connecting with more spiritual people and fellow light workers and, and people who um, want to raise the energy of this collective earth that we're living on right now um, that it was time about video scripts I've channeled while in the records I, I channel my meditations when I'm in the records that I've made I'll include a link down below um, but everything that I create or work on is sometimes not always but sometimes channeled through the records so it's really great for creatives um, I've also channeled Minette who was our neighbor's cat that often slept in our house last year I would channel her records my husband has has also opened his own records once and put a lot of pieces together in his life and it was uh, quite an eye-opening experience for him and um, I wouldn't say my husband is spiritual by any means he's not into this kind of stuff like I am but when he opened the records it kind of changed his perspective of spirituality and he's become more open towards spirituality since seeing some of the past lives and experiences in his, in his own records which is kind of cool the Akashic Records are not something that our human brains can wrap our heads around. It's so outer worldly, other dimension kind of speak. And this tool is one that is very helpful. It's a healing place that you can go to whenever you want to find clarity and truth and information and awareness and presence. This is a place that you can go to to connect with your loved ones, your past loved ones from past lives or future lives or present lives. It's a place you can connect with your angels and your spirit guides and your ancestors and your highest self of your soul that's working with you right now, always. And you're opening the Akashic Records. If you're new to it or this is the, your first few times or you haven't really gotten deep into it yet, Trust that what you receive is for your highest and best good. Any information that you get in the Akashic Records, whether it's a touch, a feeling, a sense, a visual, a color, an object, a word, a song, music, a way to move your body, if you start feeling yourself moving, whatever it is that comes through to you when you're in the records, trust that that's what you're meant to receive. The Akashic Records, as with things like developing your psychic ability or developing your ability to sense energetically things that you can't explain, things that are in the unseen world that you have no proof or evidence to describe why you know things, you only learn how to harness, you only learn to get better at that when you develop your trust muscle. Manifestation, law of attraction, all of this stuff, it comes from developing that trust muscle. And so you want to keep practicing and you want to keep trying and then you want to keep trusting. That trust is imperative for anyone that wants to venture into these topics, these topics of things that are unseen, topics that most people in our collective world will judge you for or frown upon or say, where's the evidence? Where's the proof? There is no proof. It's just a knowing. It's energy. It's a connection to something beyond this 3D world that we're living in. And so I just encourage you and I am so excited for you if you want, if you feel called to open up the Akashic Records for your, your own soul, um, just keep trusting yourself. Do it a little bit at a time, five minutes here, 10 minutes here, say the pathway prayer out loud, sit down, ground your feet on the ground, connect with your body, connect with the feeling and the energies that you're receiving. And who knows, if you've been cultivating this energetic connection, this psychic ability within you for a long time, you may have the experience that I did when I first opened my Akashic Records. I immediately started getting visuals. I immediately started seeing my past lives. I immediately started getting the buzzing fingers and the, the energetic, physical senses. Like, you may go right into it right away. And then there may be other days where you go into the records and you receive nothing. Like, that happens to me sometimes.
times every once in a while I will go into the Akashic Records and I'll be grounded and centered and I won't receive any information or the messages I do receive are very small it'll be like an object that I need to focus on or a title that I need to make for a video or it might be like a color like a, just a color will come up and that's it it might just be buzzing fingertips that's okay that is totally okay keep going keep practicing keep opening up the records and showing up and developing that trust muscle that's gonna help you so much on your own spiritual path. And I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for you. Please let me know down below in the comments if you've ever opened up your own Akashic Records. I'd love to hear about your experiences if you feel uh, comfortable opening up and sharing that. I know it's a lot of private, personal information that we can access in our records. If you like this video, please be sure to help a girl out with the algorithm and give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna check out my 14 guided life meditations that I channeled when I was in the Akashic Records, these are story-driven meditations that. Will Will help you discover your soul, find your innermost dreams and desires. I will include a link down below if you want to grab those and be sure to check out my blog post that I've written down below. I will include some tips for opening the Akashic Records as well as the Pathway Prayer that was written by Linda Howe if you would like to open up your own Akashic Records. Any other kind of videos that you want me to make going forward, I am such an open book and I'm so open to share anything that I've practiced and used um, in my own life. I hope you have a magical day starshine and I will see you next week. Bye!